Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to talk about the new router announced by Xiaomi in India, the Mi Router 4A Gigabit Edition. So Xiaomi's routers have been in India for quite some time. They had the, the budget uh, routers which were priced like 999 and 899 and uh, those were uh, uh, the entry level routers. Uh, those were uh, having a maximum speed of around 300 Mbps. It, it was not the gigabit edition. Now we have the Mi Router 4A announced uh, in India and this is priced 2199 that's 2200 rupees in India and this is the gigabit edition that means it can uh, get a speed of almost up to one gigabytes per second so that's the gigabit edition so we have this router with us so we have been using this router for almost a week now so these are our uh, uh, impressions using this device and we'll also be comparing this uh, with uh, uh, the uh, tp link archer c6 uh, which is again a gigabit version which is priced 2499 so we'll be comparing the speeds of uh, these two routers we have achieved in our room and a couple of rooms uh, apart and how the wi-fi range is so those things we be talking so this is uh, the Mi router 4a the gigabit edition so we have the four wireless uh, uh, antennas and it's a pretty slim uh, uh, design and uh, how it performs that's what we're going to talk about in this video so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that and subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so this is the new Mi Router 4A. You can see that uh, it's completely white in color. So th this comes with just one color. You can see that the four antennas and uh, we have the Mi logo here. Two LED indicators are there. One is for the power button. It's blue and the one uh, second one is for uh, internet connection. So you can see the four antennas. You can uh, keep it in different uh, uh, directions. You can see here it's pretty flexible and uh, you can just turn this. So these are the options uh, here. Now you can keep the uh, uh, the router in a different angle. So you can keep it this way as well. Now looking at the ports and connectivity available, uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, the power port. Uh, so this is how the uh, router is powered. Then we have the internet port. Uh, so this is from the modem. And uh, you can uh, see that uh, this is the reset button. And uh, we have two LAN ports. And uh, you also get the ventilation ports for ventilation gaps uh, for uh, the router. So these are the ports available. So two LAN ports are included. So that should be quite good for most of the users. Uh, two LAN ports are there. Uh, so if you have wired uh, LAN, uh, I mean uh, wired connection, you can use these ports and this is the port for internet connection now this is the design it's very simple and elegant looking device it's very lightweight too and it doesn't occupy uh, uh, too much of space and uh, it's pretty compact as well the only thing about this router is that the white color could be uh, uh, attracting a lot of dirt over a period of time otherwise this is a quite good design it's very slim you can see that uh, the chassis is very slim so that's the router design so we have been using uh, this router uh, connected to our internet connection so we just plugged in our internet uh, port to this and then uh, powered this on and uh, the router uh, configuration comes up just connect to it and it's a very simple process we'll just uh, show you the interface as well so just log into this page and uh, you can uh, you can set your own password you can also set your own ssid and uh, configuration is very simple there is also an app uh, available on uh, for smartphones where you can uh, configure all those details so once you're configured you can uh, see that uh, this is the interface you can uh, you can have separate uh, for 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz so it's a dual band uh, wi-fi router so you you can have 2.4 gigahertz the speed will be much lesser but uh, if you are using the 5 gigahertz um, or 5g option then uh, the speed will be much better so you can combine both together there is an option in the settings as well with the smart connect uh, you can have a combined option or if you want a uh, uh, both uh, separately you can have at that as well in that case uh, there, there will be two ssid for each of these but i would suggest you to combine uh, together so that uh, that will give you the best option so that option is also included in the settings page and uh, you can configure everything there is also support for uh, vpn you can do uh, uh, configure everything uh, using this settings page the app also works pretty well so we'll just have a look at the app as well so this is the app you can see the settings wi-fi you can have up uh, you can configure the updates for the uh, uh, the router, the Wi-Fi optimization, Wi-Fi timer is there, schedule reboot, uh, then uh, firewall you can set. So everything is available here. You can uh, see all the devices available. This is the Mi Wi-Fi app. So you can see here Mi Wi-Fi app available in the Play Store as well as iOS Store. So you can configure that. So now let's uh, compare uh, these two routers. So both of them are gigabit uh, version. So we have the TP-Link Archer C6. 
the new variant the 2021 variant and this is the mi router 4a now if you look at the design this is kind of a matte finish and it's slightly bigger uh, but uh, this uh, mi router is much uh, compact uh, in dimensions you can see here it's a uh, very compact in dimensions but uh, uh, this uh, tp link also has a pretty good build quality now we get a uh, different led indicators here we have only two of them for this now uh, on the ports and connectivity you can see that um, uh, the mi router has just two lan ports while uh, the uh, the tp link archer c6 has four lan ports this is quite useful uh, if you want to connect multiple LAN uh, ports, then uh, you can see that this is uh, having four LAN ports, but uh, the Mi Router 4A has just two LAN ports. Otherwise, uh, this uh, uh, looks pretty similar in terms of configuration as well. Now, let's uh, check the speed of uh, these two uh, routers. So, what we have done is we have connected uh, these two uh, to our internet connection and then we have measured the speed uh, in the office room itself where we have the uh, the modem and the internet connection and then we have connected it uh, in the next room where we have closed the door and then we also measured it uh, uh, two rooms apart that means uh, there are two walls and the door is closed so in that way we are just connected and uh, we'll see how the internet speed is so this is how it works so now when we connected uh, these routers uh, in the office room uh, what we saw was the speed was around 145 uh, mbps on both these uh, uh, routers so it's very similar again upload speed and download speed are very similar so the performance inside the office room is um, quite similar even the uh, ping also is very similar just four on the mi router while it was five on the uh, um, uh, the tp link archer c6 but again uh, speed is very similar 145 mbps this is a 150 mbps connection and we are connected wirelessly and you can see this uh, speed here now when we move to the next room uh, that means just one wall uh, apart what we noticed was uh, the connection speed was reduced to around 135 mbps almost like uh, 135 to 133 mbps on uh, both these connection again they were quite similar uh, in terms of test results again uh, nothing much different but uh, we moved to the next room that means two walls apart now here uh, the tp link archer c6 uh, uh, speed was around uh, 50 mbps and upload speed was uh, drastically reduced to around 5 mbps now this is where uh, the mi router was slightly disappointing you can see here the mi router download speed is again uh, almost, almost half of what the, the tp link archer c6 uh, was able to achieve we try the to test with multiple times again it was not uh, going beyond 21 uh, mbps as you can see and upload speed was slightly better than the tp link archer c6 but the download speed was drastically reduced almost half of what uh, the tp link archer c6 was able to achieve with uh, two worlds uh, apart so uh, in terms of uh, signal strength we feel uh, the tp link archer c6 has an advantage definitely here because it was able to retain almost like one third of the speed uh, at around two volts apart while um, the mi router 4a was not able to retain that so that was the speed testing so we feel uh, uh, when uh, you are using the internet connection uh, slightly uh, at a distance then the tp link archer c6 performance was slightly better but inside the same room almost same performance is what we got even with uh, lan and port connected uh, it was quite similar in terms of performance so that was uh, the um, detailed aspects about the, about the mi router 4a this is priced uh, 2199 that's 2200 rupees while the tp link uh, archer c6 uh, retails for 2499 that's 2500 rupees now it is available uh, sometimes this comes on discount for around 2200 rupees so almost same pricing it comes but most of the time this is 2500 and this is 2200 so around 300 rupees additional uh, for the tp link uh, archer c6 but uh, the advantage is that you get two additional LAN ports on this and the speed uh, uh, if you are using in uh, uh, a room which is slightly far away from the main uh, position room then uh, tp link archer c6 gets you slightly better overall performance than the mi router uh, 4a now apart from that uh, if you want to have a look at uh, the uh, specs of the mi router 4a here is the specs so here is the detailed uh, configuration the hardware of the mi router 4a So that is uh, the detailed aspects about the Mi Router 4A and a quick comparison with the TP-Link Archer C6. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.